and it's just easy. Well, times can be tough. Hello, hello, hello! It's Chris with Multi Tank Addiction back again on another live stream. Hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday evening. I have gotten started actually. I wanted to get some of the penciling in so that it wouldn't take up the whole stream doing penciling. I could take up the stream with line art, which is much better in my opinion. You guys like that? Like to be able to see the drawing come together. Pencil is just not visible unfortunately on camera so uh great big hello to everybody and the picture in the corner is not the right one so let's see if i can get a different picture in there for you mga products streams great big hello to everybody on the chat uh starting off with Fish Root Fever, Bob Kaler's in the house. Hey, Angie Zonier, a.k.a. Mrs. B. Daryl Deemer. Deemer. Everybody says it that way. Dan Slee's in the house. Alien World Aquatics. Cichlid King Aquatics, how you doing? Pet Sonics, hey, Diego. How you doing, man? Lumpy Dog's in the house. Chevy Fish, how you doing? Big J's Fish Keeper. Hope everybody's having a great Tuesday, and I am, I think I'm going to put the female in it. Yeah, that's the female, so we'll put the female in there. And let's see if it's in the same, okay, good. There we go. 54 punchies in the house. How's it going, Pam? Hope you're doing well, dear. Don Gallagher, TJ's Exotics, and not Noah Jane. <laughs> How you doing, my friends? All right, so first things first. Uh, I made an announcement on Sunday. I'll make an announcement again today. I made an announcement on Susan's stream. I'm going to try and, and just spread the word on like every stream that I can. Uh, just in case I miss somebody and they don't know, I am no longer doing Saturday streams or Sunday streams or weekend streams or any sort of streams on the weekend. I am doing Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, doing it to improve the channel. It is for the channel. That's the only reason why I'm doing it. I would much rather do a stream on the weekend, but it's not benefiting the channel the channel isn't growing uh, at the rate that I think it should and at the rate that I think it could so I am moving us to Thursday nights after River Life so it's going to be Corey then uh, KG Tropicals then the River Life then me and then if somebody wants to go after me great more power to them let me know that if you're going after me and I'll I'll uh, plug your channel. Not a problem. So, Lumpy Dog has, still has some chores to get done. I'll leave the live stream running in the background. Thank you, Lumpy. So, if you guys see me look off to the side, um, you won't see. I, I got two different things going on here. I got dual monitors now. Uh, finally got a computer. So, instead of using the laptop, which was was okay it did the job uh, needed to be upgraded and I upgraded I bought a, a desktop computer got two monitors the chat is on the right monitor and the, uh, the actual OBS and the webcam that you guys are watching from obviously directly in front of me and then over on my left I actually have my cell phone recording the behind the scenes for my patreons my patrons um, I do have a subscriber for my Patreon that is actually paying to get the behind the scenes. So I am recording this specifically for him. He gets to see this whole setup and me drawing. Um, and so if you want to get the behind the scenes, head over to my Patreon. Lumpy Dog is not... Uh, no. We got... It's James. James, you're pretty much the only admin right now. <laughs> James is the only mod, so... 
I'll be the Pam of Thursdays. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, except I take my bra off on camera. <laughs> James, that's terrible. So, yeah, James, if you could throw up, Fish Room Fever, if you could throw up the, um, the Patreon link, I should have it in the description of the video, or of the stream, so. Oh, Bob's here, too. What do you do? What do you do? I'm sorry, I didn't post, I didn't post the, uh, the links. I didn't even think about that today, unfortunately. I was more concerned about that being on the Thursday stream when I do all these bouncing all over the place anyways you guys aren't here to hear to watch me look at me and, and hear me talk right you you're here to listen to me talk but watch me draw so let's get to that part because that's what you're really here for so i've already got one fish drawn here what i was doing is i was drawing the female up close so it's bigger and then I'm finishing this with the male uh, let me see what the species of this fish is where's the male at? this is a decrosis filamentosis male and female so Let's see if I can get the rename. Copy. See if I can get this up in the chat. This is the species. It's part of the Rio Negro. So it's part of Project Piaba. It's one of the Project Piaba fish. So, I got most of the line work done, but I didn't get the mail in time. So, that I'm just going to finish up the, the line work for the mail, and then we should be good to go. The mail has got this beautiful black stripe down the down in the middle of his side and it's highlighted with gold so this is going to be would be a fun one for the coloring book I think and then on top of it the, that black stripe goes all the way to his nose nor nose to caudal fin solid black stripe and this doesn't even it's so dark that you can't even see the eye as a separate part of the coloration. So there's that bonus too. So how's everybody's week going? Mine started off pretty well. I had a pretty good day in, in tips of my deliveries today. And I had an a, an even better day yesterday so tips are going well I hope they continue because man let me tell you day before and the day after Thanksgiving nobody ordered delivery and that really sucked because that's that's you know that's how I get my gas money so I didn't go nowhere on uh, Thanksgiving I stayed home because I knew that I wasn't going to be able to <laughs> replace the gas. Not that I really had anywhere to go anyways. I don't have to go anywhere because my kids come to me. Okay. This mail is just about done. All I have left is the really pretty caudal fin, which has a lot of intricate lines in it. I 
I have to say, this light tablet typically I love it, but let's let's do this. It's too hot. The the element there's like the lights themselves are in the top of the, the light pad. So they're burning the tar out of my arm. <laughs> so let me get this onto the, the laptop. Let's see if I can get this on the laptop. Scott Gordon's in the house. How you doing, Scott? Not Nola Jane, you're here for Jaws. Jaws, that's not the... Uh, Jaws is a... Uh, for those of you that don't know who Jaws is, Jaws is my, uh, my Blackmore goldfish. Um... It has become sort of a rite of passage, if you will, that everybody gets a Blackmore nowadays because they fell in love with a very specific Blackmore. <laughs> For some reason, everybody loves KC, which is down the wormholes Blackmore. And, I mean, I loved that fish so much, I drew it. Actually, pretty, pretty proud of that watercolor painting because that was the only time that I've done a really. I, I took my time and focused on what I needed to do with watercolors. I'm not terribly great at them. All right, so I believe that is everything. Did I miss anything? I don't think so. Let's see here. Sixteen watching, twelve likes. Thank you very much for all those likes. I appreciate it. Mike Howes in the house. How's it going, Fish Tank Barn? Those of you that don't know, Mike, Mike does his stream right after mine, and uh, when he named his channel Fish Tank Barn, he wasn't kidding. It's it's a fish tank barn. So if you've ever wanted to see how somebody would keep fish tanks in a barn, that's the channel to watch, let me tell you. So, we have the male and the female. Now I need to pull out the le pen. Le pen to do the le drawing with. And we're going to do the mail first. Uh, Bob is demanding that I requ request you hit the thumbs up. I... Sometimes, you know, Bob, sometimes I wonder where it comes from. Is I don't I focus on little parts of any drawing and I don't focus on the, the whole drawing when I'm doing it I focus on the little bitty whatever it is that I'm doing at the time like I am doing the pectoral fin on this little fish that's all I'm really focused on so by the time I get done with it Oh, Lumpy's going to the basement. He's got it still running in the, on the laptop. Thank you very much, Lumpy Dog. I'm actually expecting to be shipping those uh, either today or tomorrow. 
Um, thank you, Bob. Uh, yeah, Fish Room Fever was wanting to know when the Black Friday, the Black Friday sale stuff, is going going to go out. And I was actually planning on doing it today after the stream, but that only gives me um, a half an hour because the UPS store that I go to, that I get all the prints done at now. Uh, they close at 6:30, which is weird because. UPS store in Portland does it till 8. But anyways, if I drove there, if I drove to Portland to do it, then it would take me an hour just to get there. So they would be closing in just about the same amount of time. Oh, Amber, that's so sweet of you. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, James, you're the only one that ordered anything. <laughs> yeah, I had a, I actually had a whole Cyber Weekend sale. The Black Friday sale, I extended it through the entire weekend uh, until yesterday uh, when I got off work. I ended the sale and only had one one person I had one person order a calendar and then I had one other person order a couple prints in a calendar so um, yeah Anywho, let's get this let this let's get this going here. So does anyone have any information on this fish? Okay. Scooby Dooby Doo, where are you? Hey Cichlis twenty three. I have to say, this is a lot better not getting burnt by my tablet. Again, this is the species. It's in the. This is a fish from the Rio Negro region, so it's part of the whole project Piaba thing that they're doing right now, and uh, it's one of the fish that they're trying to protect from the Rio Negro in Project Piaba. Thank you, Bob. Jess just pulled up to Shishi's house. So I bet you they're probably going to stream tonight then, huh? Because Shishi's like three hours away from the lady that they're getting their fish from. So they don't have to like although it is eight a quarter after eight there
Cichlid23 wants to know if Bob has set up his uh, 180 gallon yet. Dichrosis filamentosus, the checkerboard cichlid, is a spectacular dwarf cichlid from South America. Thunderfish are found in the upper Rio Negro and the upper Orinoco in Venezuela, Brazil, and Colombia. They inhabit very soft acid waters and require the same to thrive in the aquarium. Oh. Chevy Fish just realized he wasn't subbed to me on his phone, so I fixed it and hit the notification bell. That's awesome sauce. Thank you, Chevy Fish. That's awesome, Bob. Thank you for the information, Bob. I appreciate it. I didn't get the chance to research these guys before I started drawing. It was like, I gotta get a, I gotta find a fish. So, I actually went to Project Piava's website, and was like, okay, which one of these would be a good coloring book fish? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured you weren't calling me Christ. Because if you were, you would be sorely mistaken. <laughs> Hash info, how you doing? Never seen you in my in my comments before, although you may have been here, and I just don't remember. If that's the case, I apologize, but I'm glad you're here now. Duke, you're getting in the way, Duke. Duke, go lay down. Dude, seriously, listen to me. Go lay down, dog. Get your face out of the tank. Go lay down. Everybody saying hi to Hash. Bob is still laying some information on us about this fish. Thinking the male is going to be a fairly easy Easy one to get done, but the female, not certain I want to do as much detail as I did on the female originally. I think I'm going to take away the scales, because I drew out the scales on, on the female, and honestly, I think that if somebody were to get that on, on in a coloring book, they would just co color over all of them. Well, Bob, that's my my coffee of choice as well. What a surprise! Mr. Black is in. The, Dr. Black is in the house. I am doing good. Hope you're doing well too, dude. James is always working and lurking. That's because James is always working. Dude doesn't have any free time. All right, so I'm gonna show my show my phone. I gotta show the picture to my phone. I'm working also live and networking. So, then I must ask, hash info, what kind of channel do you have? What is your focus? What is your niche?
we are we call ourselves the fish fam so is that right that's awesome is that the is that the gaming channel Cause I laid I laid a two dollar super chat on him <laughs> just for the fun of it to say hi. Okay, yeah. That's that's what we did. Okay. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad our little raid had that effect on him. I know it was fun. It was fun for us. So it's always fun when some when you know you like. You're used to seeing 20, 30 people, and then all of a sudden you've got 50, 100. Yes, Black Rifle Coffee is awesome. I really, I, the, yeah, I know, I was messing with you, Bob. <laughs> Yes, Black Rifle is awesome. My favorite, actually, from Black Rifle is the one called Silencer Smooth. It's a uh, a smooth roast. It's a lighter roast. And for those of you that don't know, lighter roasts have more caffeine. But it doesn't... I have acid reflux. And it doesn't give me any sort of heartburn or anything. And I usually, like... Stuff like Folgers and stuff like that will give me heartburn if I drink it at all during the day. I will end up with heartburn at some point, or at the very least, I'll end up with heartburn at the end of the day when I go to bed. So Folgers does that to me. Don't know why, but I can drink Black Rifle all day long if I want. No heartburn. It tastes delicious. I wish I had a sponsorship with them. Because quite honestly, I love that coffee. Hash, thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a great night. Have some fun gaming, man. Hey, it's Tater Sal Salad. <laughs> Tater Salad's in the house. They call him Tater Salad. Somebody's a Ron White fan. Starter fish, best fish in each of your opinions. Uh, depending upon the size of the tank, my personal favorite for a starter fish would be probably uh, a community tank. Uh, Neon Tetras and Angelfish. Guppies are always good starter fish. Mollies, Platties, and Swordtails are always good starter fish. Um, they're all good th community fish. Basically, if you go to a pet store and it says it's a community fish, more than likely it's going to be a good starter fish. Because most community fish, they just, they just chill. So you don't have to worry about aggression or anything like that so that's what I would recommend for a starter fish would probably be angelfish uh, neons guppies platties mollies swordtails zebra danios yeah So, yeah. That's awesome that you're looking into possibly getting a... <laughs> Dan Slee is all about the shrimp. Uh, that's awesome that you're about to... You're, you're contemplating possibly getting an aquarium. They're great for relieving stress. I mean, so was gaming for me, but... Um, Gaming also has a nasty habit of relieving stress at some points 
and then causing it in others. Especially when you run into something that you just can't, a puzzle in the game or what have you, that you just can't get past. That, that, oh. My head could turn red from getting pissed about that, so. Anthony's Fishy Friends, how you doing? Emma's in the house. Dr. Black, any knowledge of Rob Bull? Dan Sleeze is all about the plants now. All right, Dan, I'm gonna throw a I'm gonna throw a question your way. Let's see how this works out for that. All right. So, I am going to be doing a paludarium, and it's going to be a South American paludarium with Hero Severus, my breeding pair. They're going to be in a 40 breeder. For them, it's going to be a 40 breeder. And then the above water portion is another 40 breeder on its side. So I'm going to have 40 gallons worth of space above the tank and 40 gallons worth of water. What do we, what do we plant it with? Besides, you know, the usual pothos and... Uh, Hash, you have a good night. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, Anubias and, you know, Java, Java Moss and Java Fern. What else do we put in there? Recommendations. <laughs> nice setup. No, Dan, what's the plants, buddy? <laughs> I'm asking you, what what plants do I put in there? Now, mind you, my my hero Severus, a dinosaur. No, I I'm more concerned about making sure that it looks good. My hero Severus are both used to being in a planted tank. I raised my rock keel severum um, in a heavily planted tank, and the golden came from a planted tank. So, yeah. I have hard water coming out of the tap here, bud. Somebody's got a very loud exhaust system. Okay thinking and asking questions yes you are and that's fine the more questions you ask the more you can dial in a very specific answer so you just keep asking questions bro so you're gonna be my resident plant geek now I don't need I don't need just the underwater plants either I need to know what I'm put, putting in the, the above water plants too, bro. Because I have no idea what to put in that. Uh, we don't. The only plant we have growing in the house right now is pothos. And it's hanging out of several aquariums. In the living room, I have a 10 foot long pothos plant that's just been looped back and forth over my 75 gallon you can do a nice mix of tropical plants in the higher drier areas uh, a nice house plant option needs more shrimp um, the other thing that I didn't mention 
just so you know, is the filtration is going to be a waterfall that goes all the way to the top of that 40 breeder. So the it's going to be a three foot high waterfall. Now mind you, it's not going to fall far out. It's, I'm hoping for sort of a trickle. But watering the plants is not going to be done by me. It's going to be done by the waterfall, too. That's the plan, at least. I honestly can't wait to get this started. I just wish I would have had money and, you know, water and dry areas are going to depend on that transition. Gotcha. Marginal plants. Maria, how are you doing? Plan that whole part out first. The the part at the at the water line, is that what you're referring to? You know I could do I could do like a a Christmas moss. It overhangs. Oh, there's gonna. I'm gonna put a piece of glass over the, the front panel. What would normally be a lid, I'm gonna put a, a lid on, and then I'm gonna silicone it so that the door will open. But it'll keep all the humidity in by being closed all the time. I am doing great, Maria. It's my favorite day of the week because this is the day of the week where I get to sit, draw, talk to my friends, come up with ideas for my streams so you know how much space you have for drier areas, wet areas, etc. Yes. Alright, so the plan was I was going to use a uh, Uh, I was going to use, uh, what was it, spray foam to make a background. And then I was going to put the, uh, whatchamacallit, I was going to put empty flower pots in the spray foam so that I could fit the plants that I want to put in it. In it. Crips. Buse, Crips, Leganandra. And that's for the underwater. Sushi! How's it going, Steph? Alright. Cool, Dan. What about the pink flamingo crypt? Will it, would that do good right there? Because I have pink flamingo that's going crazy in my nano tank right now. Philandra is a good plant for both the emerald or emerged and submerged. Huh. All right. So that would be interesting to have like pink flamingo at the margin, right at the edge. <laughs> Chevy, I caught it. I caught it right away and said what it was supposed to be. I knew what you was trying to say. I understood the words that was coming out your mouth. Alright. So we're getting... Closer to the head. <laughs> Let me 
Let's see here. I have one that is growing two inches of water. And they mostly stay smaller than pond type marginals would. Oh. <laughs> Hash is back! How's it going, Hash? All right, Dr. Black, you have a good night or day. Mark, Big E's, how you doing? It ain't easy being Big Easy. All right, so let's get this going here. Now we're getting into, mm, excuse me, mm, the pectoral fin. He's taken off. So, for those of you that are wondering who the hash guy is, um, Hash Info is a uh, is a, a a streamer, a gaming streamer that we were on. Uh, oh gosh. Oh, geez. Come on, Chris. Funk. Uh, Aqua Funk's channel. We were watching his stream, and we rated Hash Info's stream. And, you know, just through some fish fam mob raid in his chat real quick. Blew up his, blew up his stream real quick. Nice, Ash. If you're asking where my name came from, it's a, it's a phrase that's used in the aquarium hobby. Uh, it's called multi-tank syndrome is what's typically used. And I went with something that was close so that people would mistakenly use my channel name when they were referring to multi-tank syndrome. And it does happen frequently because it's easy to mix the two up, especially when you've recently been talking to me. <laughs> I used psychology on my side. Now, if you're referring to Sushi Berry, she just changed her name. I think he was just asking about what we would recommend for a starter fish tank. Pam. Is that where you did that? Is that where the sushi came from, Stephanie? I didn't know that that's where the sushi came from. I just noticed that it changed. One day it was Stephanie. The next day it was sushi. I was like, oh, well, you were just thinking about changing your name, so... It's always fun when your friends can give you your name, too. I tend to agree with you, Anna. 
Anna's Hobbies is absolutely correct. Everyone needs a fish tank. If everyone had a fish tank, then everyone... Oh, that's awesome, Scott. Working on getting his multi-tank syndrome going. Everyone had a fish tank. Everyone would have a way to relieve stress. <laughs> Passionful. Get, go tell my mom that. Yes, Anna, go tell my mom that. I have 12 and all our fresh water. Working your way through MTS to MTA to FRF. <laughs> I agree, get a tank. <laughs> oh. All right, so I think I'm going to be able to finish this with just enough time. So, just as a reminder for those people that are showing up a little bit later in the stream, I'm not going to be doing streams anymore on the weekends. I'm only going to be doing my streams on. Wednesdays and Thursdays. Um, hash info. If you like this, I have got a completely different stream that happens on, that's going to be starting on this Thursday. Uh, it's more like a variety TV show. Um, all sorts of different things going on. Background music and giveaways and, you know, it's just entertaining. It's a fun stream. It's also an hour long, so if you like watching me draw, then you'll probably like that even more because it's it's more interactive. I get the opportunity to actually look at the screen and look at the chat a little bit more closely, keep, keep up with the chat. I have to get, get a set up how much moolahs is it going to be. Um, if you're setting up a tank on like on a table, then you can probably wait until Petco does a dollar per gallon sale. Get you a uh, twenty long. I never ever recommend ten gallons. They're too small. They're too easy to crash, and if you crash you're more likely to decide you don't want to do it ever again. I don't want you to not do that. So That's a big... St you said Wednesday and Thursday. Tuesdays and Thursdays, Bob. Did I say Wednesday and Thursday? Hey, Amen, Tuesdays and Thursdays. I'm sorry. Bob's catching me in my own things. Yeah, live streams are on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Don't worry, I'm not doing anything on Wednesdays. I would say a minimum of a 20 gallon. In all honesty, the bigger the tank is, uh, the easier it's going to be to take care of. I know it sounds kind of counterintuitive, but it's actually true. Because uh, it's a larger body of water, therefore it can, it can handle you missing water changes or overfeeding a lot better than... Then say, for instance, a 10-gallon. You could ask just about anybody here. And, well, actually, you could ask anybody here. We're all, we're all shoulder deep in the hobby. So <laughs> anybody here is going to be able to give you good information about 
starting a tank. Um, some people prefer to start people off on larger tanks, others smaller tanks. Some people recommend starting with a nano tank, which I would definitely vote against. But made the decision my fish are 100% not normal. I have a female beta sorority with four females and two males, and no one fights like how. Geofish dude, the solution to pollution is dilution. Exactly, Geofish dude, that is the answer to the question we are looking into. Yes. Natural aquariums. Natural aquariums, everything is going great. Look at the fish. The drawing is, I just finished the drawing. So, for those of you guys that are wondering what this fish is, uh, it is a beautiful fish called the Decrosis filamentosus. I would recommend Hash Info going to Petco when they're doing their dollar per gallon sale. I'm assuming you're in the U.S. I apologize if you're not, but I make, I'm making assumptions. Uh, if you're in the U.S., Anthony, that is a great, great suggestion. Yeah, 20 to 30 gallons is a good starter tank. You got your dilution, so when you don't do your water change religiously right off the bat, which always happens to all of us, um, you can you can slough off a little bit. You can be a little lax in your in your duties, but in the in the end, the fish will survive. But do you, yeah, dollar per gallon sale get you a nice like 20 to 30 gallon aquarium, even a 29 gallon, um, a lid, a light, heater, filter, you know, you could get that stuff in a kit. See if you can get a kit without the stand. If you can get a kit without the stand, you're going to get everything you need to start the tank. And then I just did a video, actually, if you look at the, the five my top five beginner's secrets for the aquarium hobby. I just did a video on that. Check out that video. And it'll give you all the all the uh, insider secrets. Things that pet stores don't tell you. Like when you go to buy your aquarium, pet stores will sell you a fish at the same time. And you really should not <laughs> buy the fish when you buy the aquarium. You really should start the tank up, get it all set up, decorated the way you want it. You know, if you want to put SpongeBob in there, put SpongeBob in there. But get it all set up the way you want it. Fill it up with water. As some has, have said, you need to do something with the tank. So, either feed the empty tank so that it can develop some biological, bio, uh, beneficial bacteria. And then, or you can put stuff in it that will include beneficial bacteria in it. But you need to run that for a couple weeks empty. Well, not empty, empty, but without fish for it to develop necessary bacteria. That's awesome, awesome Chevy, that Chevy fish. Your spell check, your autocorrect is working terribly, and my my tongue is doing the same thing. This eraser's not cutting it. We all have basically the same recommendations. Some people will recommend slightly different things, but for the most part, we're all trying to get people to do the right thing in the hobby and like one of my videos I didn't mention the beneficial bacteria but I redid that video and included vi pictures of the beneficial bacteria so and there we go that's our fish I got five minutes to spare, and I need to scan it. 
Sushi Berry. This is going to be in the coloring book, just so you know, Stephanie. So when the adult coloring book is done, finally, which, to be frank, I am actually looking forward to the adult coloring book being done. Let's, let's transition back to my face. I've got five minutes left. So, yeah, I am very much looking forward to that adult coloring book being done. Once it's done, I am not going to do another coloring book to save my life. I'm going to have all of these prints, all these black and white drawings. I'm going to have a couple months at least of just coloration. Where all I'm going to be doing on my streams is exactly Chevy Fish. Feeding the ghost is the best way to cycle a tank if you don't have any seed media. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to have lots of coloration drawings to do. And I think these are going to be really cool coloring book. It's going to be a really cool coloring book. Chris, Christy Crab from Spongebob is the only unnatural decor in any of my aquariums. Nitrogen cycle is very important. But nobody taught me the nitrogen cycle. I learned that on my own. The hard way. <laughs> Alright, so let me finish this video over here. Because this is the behind the scenes. Actually, I'm going to let them go until I'm done here. But So... Yeah, I got another video ready to go. I did it last night. It's a top five. It's another top five video. But um, I'm really liking these top five videos lately. They're, they're doing good for the channel, and they're fun. So I hope you guys are liking them too. Um, Bob, did you name your new boy? Uh, okay. Uh, so, yeah. Sorry. Chat's over there. Behind the scenes is over there. Camera's right here. Focus, Chris. Yeah. Too many cancer sciences. Magic, weather, nitrogen, cycle. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, yeah. I'm going to turn off this so that you don't have that wonderful thing. I'm going to take the glasses off. That way I can't read the chat. It's just a white blur on a black background. Which is awesome. Fish Tank Barn starts in about three minutes. He just did just put uh, Fish Room Fever just put the link for his stream in the chat. Appreciate that. Thank you, James. So I hope to see you guys again on Thursday. I'm doing the like I said the the five top five things videos are really fun. So. There's going to be another one coming out on Saturday, and that one was really fun to edit. I did a bunch of stuff that I don't normally do uh, just to check it out. So hopefully you guys like that stuff. I got about two minutes left of the stream, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it off a little bit early. But really appreciate everybody being here. Um, for those of you watching the replay, if you like this, you might like that. And if you like that, you might like that. Or actually, that which is over my face now. Just remember, guys and gals, we're feeding the addiction one tank at a time through education and inspiration, and I hope you have a wonderful night. Bye now. When it's just you, well, times can be tough. When